about three years ago, I started to study the concept of beliefs. And by beliefs, I don't mean which religion you follow or anything like that. I mean beliefs by the stories that we tell ourselves about who we are or what we can and can't do. The things that we say to ourselves, I am this, I am that. And the reason I first took a massive interest in it was because I found that I had a lot of limiting beliefs uh, myself. There was somebody that I met when I was living in Bali who made a comment that really wound me up. And when he actually, uh, when he said it, I then went away and I was actually thinking about it. He told me that I, I project. And by project, that basically means you assume what people say, you assume what people think without actually having any proof. And I thought, God, that's really rude. And I went away and I research projection and I like looked into it and I thought why is he saying I'm a I do I'm a projector um you know that I project things onto people because that is the truth that is what they think people do think that I'm this or I'm that and then I started to look into the concepts of beliefs and beliefs are literally just the stories that we tell ourselves and they're the things that are on repeat and you know most of them are subconscious a lot of them are in our subconscious state as opposed to being in our conscious awareness and knowing the things that we're thinking about and our beliefs really frame the world that we see and you know the way that we experience the world that's around us. So if you think about some of the things that you might naturally say about my, yourself, you know, I'm shy, I'm not good at this, you know, I'm I'm good at this, I'm this, I'm that, I'm not this, you know, you can have a think about what it is, you know, what what are the kind of some of the things that you're saying about yourself, some of the limiting beliefs that you might have. And what I've learned uh, from studying coaching, and I'm currently going through a coaching diploma, is what we can do with limiting beliefs is actually we can flip them and turn them into empowering beliefs. Now, empowering beliefs are the opposite of our limiting beliefs. So instead of telling your, ourselves, I'm shy, telling, telling ourselves that, you know, the opposite of that would be, I'm confident, and essentially building a plan to transition you from feeling shy to feeling confident, and things that you can tell yourself every day while you're on that journey to moving to feeling more confident than shy. And I'm currently doing this coaching diploma, as I mentioned, and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm learning some really interesting stuff. And I just wanted to, to tell you this study, which I read recently, um, which I thought was really interesting. So Eric Byrne, who wrote The Games People Play in 1964, um, he basically investigated beliefs and when our beliefs are set. And I thought this was fascinating because what happens is we, we get a belief set in ourselves and then we spend the rest of our lives proving that belief to be true. So once it's landed, it's then constantly looking for feed me, feed me. People sometimes call it the wolf. So, you know, feed me, feed me. So, you know, say you believe that you are, um, you know, at the age of 10, somebody says something or you say something um, like I'm fat. So when I was about 10, I weighed myself and I weighed, I can't actually remember what the weight was, but I went into school the next day and I said to my friend, oh, I weighed myself. And she said, oh, how much did you weigh? And I said, X. And she said, oh my God, that's so much. I weigh this. And I was like, oh my God, I weigh like two stone more than my best friend. I must be massive. And from then on, I've spent the rest of my life believing that I'm fat and constantly looking for belief uh, belief kind of what would be the word validation that that is true so projecting that other people may or may not think that I'm fat or telling myself that I'm fat just because I had that one belief planted in my head and these are really harmful and you know that's a kind of quite a generalized one but there are there are micro ones that are formed into us that we don't even know that are in our that are in our subconscious that are really limiting us every single day so going back to Eric Byrne and he his study and you know i'm sure there's lots of studies around this stuff but this is the one i've got he suggested that by the age of four or five our life script is written so it's written um you know our beliefs are set uh, by seven it's polished and by 12 it's further polished and it's beginning to be lived out and obviously you can collect more belief systems as you're growing up but if you think about by 12 you've got a rough idea of whether you're smart or not good at sport or not um, nice or not, funny or not, good looking or not, you know, these are all the things that you learn in school or at home or, you know, from anybody basically who has any influence over you, teachers, uh, people at school, your parents, older relatives, whatever, these belief systems are being set and you've started that journey of pushing yourself to validate every single belief. But actually, these limiting beliefs can still be holding you back in much, much later life. And part of the reason I take such an interest in this is because you know, what my job is, what, our, you know, what Powerful Leaders does is helping people to share their message, to build their brand online, to go out as themselves 
um, in, in exactly who they are, to share their vulnerabilities, to share their real stories and build their brands and share their message. And obviously when you're going to do that, a lot of beliefs come up, negative beliefs often. And what I do with my clients and why I'm going through this training program is essentially to help them to change those limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs so that they can essentially live the life that they really, really want to live. So what I um, invite you to do, a little activity, I did it yesterday, is make two lists on a piece of paper and write down on the left all the positive beliefs you feel about yourself. I'm focused, I'm motivated, I'm funny, I'm driven, I'm kind, I'm whatever. And on the right hand side, write down all of the negative beliefs that you have about yourself and try to really dig into or maybe just try and listen to your mind a little bit over the next few days of what are the stories that you're telling yourself and see if you can identify some of your empowering beliefs and some of your limiting beliefs and then maybe start thinking about what you can do to prevent those limiting beliefs from holding you back.